Faith and Experiences, part 5 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English and French on December 25, 1997, in Washington, D.C., USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. <laughs> Let them in, okay? And you come later. Because you just talked now and now this them. To be fair, right? Okay? Hello, Master. Um, in my meditation, I've come to a certain point where it seems like a barrier and I can't seem to cross over. And the way I feel is like a, a sense of giving up. But then I say to myself, no, continue. You're almost there. How you know is a when is a barrier? Um, it seems like I'm sort of crossing over. I feel that sensation as I'm crossing over. Uh -huh. But then I'm not. I'm in a state of um, in between. Why? Oh, I don't know. That's why I need your help. Then how do I know? It's your decision. Huh? If you want to cross over, you cross over. If you want to hang around, hang around. All right. Mm. I have been trying my best. Um, I haven't actually eaten for two days either. I've used that time for meditation. And that's really helping me as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if I were you, just cross over, huh? And get it done. I'm, with. I'm trying my best, yeah, but I can't seem to uh, cross over. You cannot seem to. Yeah. Oh, then try again. Yeah, try again. Sometimes the, the last steps are the hardest. Huh? Yeah. You know, like when you climb the mountain, you know, to the peak, is the hardest time. Hmm? Try again. Don't worry. There's no hurry. You're doing well. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes? About 20 years ago, I was uh, practicing Zen. Yes. I accidentally went to this uh, black place, uh -huh. very dark, not even uh, the meditation uh, would work there. I asked the master about it. He, he didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. So I got, I got scared. And I think from that time on, um, I went backwards. I went down instead of up. Mm -hmm. And uh, no master knew what that uh, what that place was. Oh. I thought I got scared. I thought it was some dark uh, devil place, oh. devil prison. Yes. In Did you Bible feel bad in there? I, it scared me because, and I thought that the master said meditation will take you everywhere, but it, it doesn't work there <laughs> at that place. <laughs> okay. And I prayed that. Uh, Falling down, it makes it very difficult to go back up again. I know. Okay, don't worry about it. You will go back up again. Because that's just one of the places, you know, that is the borderline. When you cross it, you go to the light. It's just in between. You nearly got there. Don't give up. Don't. It's just your master didn't know. It doesn't mean this is dangerous, okay? But of course, it is dangerous without the guide because it's very dark there. Huh? But with the guide, you go further, okay, and see the light again. Don't worry, continue, huh? Every time you're scared like that, you pray to the inner master, and then uh, the inner master will come and guide you. Actually, the inner master is always there, but if you cry for help louder, maybe then. <laughs> I say, okay, I'm here, I'm here, shut up. <laughs> All right? Thank you. Yes, you're very welcome, and I'm very impressed that you continue meditation for 10 years. Until the darkness scare you. <laughs> oh, what about before that? Did you see light? Not much light. I heard uh, sometimes other masters would come and talk, and ask mm -hmm. questions. Sometimes mm -hmm. I would hear uh, beautiful voices mm -hmm. um, saying nice things. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes uh, I would see... Uh, earthquakes or something like that. Mm. You coming. mean beforehand? Yeah. You can foresee the future? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It's not a nice thing to see earthquake, no. is it? No. <laughs> then you have to experience it twice, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you have been to some of the uh, lower level of consciousness, uh, where people can have some magical power, like seeing the future, uh, hearing predictions, things like that. 
but you have to go further, okay? Don't don't be worried. We'll be okay. Hmm. Next one. Ah, so in Shanghai, I was wondering if you're familiar with the work of Dr. Chen on nutritional research and provisions. Uh, she's uh, been awarded international and national awards. Her uh, organization is EXL in Springfield, Utah. I've been using her products now for a couple of months and some of the people from the San Jose Center for much longer with good results. This is more on the B12 issue <laughs> because it, that's only one of many things that uh, her product provides. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar. I'll try and uh, provide more information or see that you get some information on that. Mm. Yeah, I only need information when it's necessary. You know, I only seek information when necessary. When I feel healthy and you saw the picture last night, you know, I don't worry about my nutrition. <laughs> well, I, uh, I just wanted to mention that because uh, of uh, some of the questioning and it seems yes. like it's something that people could take advantage of. Okay, if, if they need it, they come to you, huh? Okay. Uh, go to the San Jose Center. Uh, San Jose Center. For information. Uh, they could Good. contact uh, in San Jose. She's one of your security guards. Uh, security guard? My? I don't even know her. Never mind. Thank you for the information. And if people do need, you know, they will seek it themselves. Huh? I cannot recommend one thing or another. Except, you know, generally speaking, like vitamin this and vitamin that. <laughs> okay, huh? But thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank it's good you. that you find something good for you to eat. Yeah? Hmm. All right. Uh, who was it? The next one? Okay, there. And then the woman, okay? <laughs> uh, yes, Master. I have a question regarding uh, medical establishment and Raiki uh, healing. What healing? Reiki, uh, Reiki, so uh, Reiki. Yeah. Uh, I come from Vancouver, Canada, and a hospital there is experimenting with uh, uh, having uh, mm -hmm. Reiki yes. uh, therapists come to the hospital, and if the experiment is successful, they want to incorporate the Reiki experiment in the Reiki healing with the hospital. Mm -hmm. You are the doctor? No, I'm not. No. Then why you ask this question? Because I'm, I'm wondering if the hospital incorporates that, does the Reiki therapist consider himself as a part of the doctor, so it's okay? To no, the, the hospital is that's their business. It's not our business. I see. The hospital, of course, they find any way to cure their patients. That's okay. Well, I think they do it to uh, cut down on their costs. Okay, then it's okay with them. Yeah. I cannot uh, mind what the hospitals do. I, see. I okay. just tell you what it does to you individually yeah. and fits out of practice. And you can take the advice or don't take the advice. Yeah, okay. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. But the hospital, you know, like all other places, they practice anything they want. Yeah? As long as it benefits the patient and their profession provides it that way, it's okay with me. The hospital, they also take a lot of <laughs> other kinds of practices. Just for us, yeah? We go in this way. We have to mind our own spiritual progress. Then we try to avoid this, avoid that, so that we progress quicker. Yeah? Okay. Bonjour, Maître. Bonjour. Uh, well, vous pouvez pas parler anglais? Anglais? Anglais, non? Non, juste no, okay. français. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, C'est pour ajouter un petit mot sur l'algue. Et dit quoi? Un, quelques mots sur l'algue. Yeah. Sur la B12. Oh, si, si, si. Non, non, long time, hein, pas, beau, pas longtemps. Oh. Il y a une algue exceptionnelle qui s'appelle la clamate, qui est, pro, qui est récupérée en Oregon, aux États-Unis. Elle ne contient très peu de sodium parce qu'elle vient d'eau douce, contrairement aux autres algues qui viennent d'eau de mer. Elle est très, très riche en B12. C'est, paraît-il, la plus exceptionnelle sur la planète. Si. Voilà. Mm -hmm. C'est la même chose. Ah. And you give it to her so she can translate to the English uh, word. <laughs> he, 
he was mentioning an algae, it's called the Klamath algae, and I believe it's the same blue-green algae that mm -hmm. the lady over there was talking yes. about. It grows in um, non-salted water, therefore there's not as much sodium content in it. So the blue-green algae is one of the greatest yes. ones for, for vitamin B12 or all the Bs. Actually, those are vitamin B from nature, like seaweed and all that. They do not make so much trouble for the human body. Whatever surplus, the body will eliminate it. Because I know one guy, I knew him from India, uh, he's from Canada, and he ate only raw food because he contracted some kind of disease before and then he gave up cooked food. So he ate only raw food. And then he ate a lot of algae, oh, yes, yes, he ate a lot of them also. But I didn't see him having any high blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, he was very pink and his lips so red like you put lipstick on. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, he, he was very healthy. Yeah, but well, he eats sometimes chapatis. He cheated, you know. It's not, <laughs> it's not always raw food. <laughs> but most of the time, he ate raw food and juice and all that. And he looked quite healthy. He ate a lot of alfalfa and sprouts. There's another name for the algae, yeah? Seaweed, huh? spirulina, algae, they're all the same. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They refer to the same category. There's another name I forgot, yeah. They call it in a different name. So it's all right, huh? It's all right. Oh, cabbage is also very good for you, huh? You know, why cabbage? Oh, cabbage, huh? Yeah, when you don't eat meat, you should eat cabbage. But that also has a side effect, like it gives you the <laughs> crop. Huh? Coiter. Yeah, yeah. Then you have to eat, uh, you use iodized salt, then it will neutralize that effect. Yeah, you see, you have this and then you have that, you have to add it forever, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just be moderate, you know, things. Merci. Huh, monsieur? Et voilà, la femme. <laughs> now you can ask any questions. No more B12, please. <laughs> I have a question similar to the um, brother who asked about the Kuan Yin messengers. What uh, female Kuan Yin messenger would be good to talk to? What female? Kuan Yin messenger. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, well, you you can uh, go to I think I don't know I don't have any female. Are there any females? Oh, there! Oh, look at that! Yes, yes. Huh? Okay, huh? Hmm. All right. Also, there are some uh, Chinese. Uh, there's Tong is here. Yeah, I can talk to her. Yeah, see if if you are okay. We could do with some more Occidental faces, huh? Yeah. Just yesterday, I've been talking to the. Uh, Quaning messengers, you know, the male and female. And uh, I say, what happened to all my, <laughs> to all my uh, Occidental uh, residents? And they say, oh, they all gone home. I say, what's, what's wrong? They say, oh, no, the mentality is different. You know, they're not prepared to work hard and go through tests and they take it easy and they, you know, casual and all that. I say, oh, you have to be patient. They are, of course, different. They have different karma and different thinking, different background. So we have to be patient. It is very good for them that they forsake everything and come to us and want to stay and want to be trained, you know. And I say, look at you. Remember how patient I have to be with you, 15 years, 10 years, 5 years, and you're still like this, like this. <laughs> uh, don't complain to me that they are like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a good talk and I say, in the future, if any of the Occidental people who really fit and have the destiny to come, you know, and you have to welcome them and make them feel at home <laughs> and be patient with them. Huh? And teach them how to initiate people. And then, uh, of course, that's, that's the main thing, you know. It's not only for working, endurance or anything, because we have to think of the whole world, uh, not just uh, individual classes of personalities and a little lack of patience and mentality differences here and there. Of course, the Chinese and the Vietnamese, maybe they work harder, you know, they're used to it more hardship and they, they endure the rubbing better. Yeah? They're used to rubbing shoulders with each other, you know. Shoulders <laughs> and elbows, <laughs> they're used to it. <laughs> Hãy 
xanh tháng trời lộng một đời thong dong một đời thong dong <cười>